Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Jesus Mixy Burns and welcome to another awesome episode of Rust. So ah, what we're gonna be doing on, on this episode. Like I said, in the last episode I'm gonna show you how to fill in the middle of the gaps without putting like walls everywhere that makes everything look kind of retarded and stupid. And I'm gonna show you a really cool trick on how you can avoid doing that. So, of course, we are up here. We're about to put in our windows for our first tower, of course. So we need to just go around like this. Put in your windows, obviously, because you want 360 degrees view. Now, it don't matter about putting railings behind this, because remember, you're not inside your house. So it doesn't matter if they try and jump in through this window. Not really going to make a difference. Even if they infiltrate the inside of your wall uh, to, to get into the courtyard there, they've still got to try and break into your house. So it's like, don't really matter too much. So you don't have to put railings down to stop them from jumping through your windows. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So you just want to go and hit all these windows down. All these lovely, beautiful windows. Keep on hitting them down. Keep on, boom. Okay. Now. What you want to do is you do want to put railing plans down, but not how you would originally do. Put them down in the middle because the last thing you want to do is fall down the middle there. And if you're on a server that has uh, has damage for when you fall, like fall damage, then you know you don't want to die from that. So just put my railings down here. But don't worry, guys, I am I am professional. I know exactly what I'm doing. So you want to put down floor plans to here but you're gonna miss out one make sure you miss out one floor plan and I'll show you why in just a sec because you're gonna need that in a second I am a professional builder a professional resident but professional builder okay now you notice you got this big jock off gap in the middle there and the reason why I said to leave uh, a, a gap in the middle there because you need that to get up on top of the roof and then you're gonna fill it in in a minute uh, well, you're gonna fill it in in about five minutes to be honest. We were right. Okay, so I'm gonna just think about this now guys Yep, that's all good So look at that you can get up here and then this is where the trick comes in You can put either a wall structure up here or you can put more windows now I do suggest if you can put windows down with a railings with a railing system around it And I'll show you why in just in just a second so what you want to do is you want to fill in the gap that you just made uh, yeah you, you can do because you can you can jump down and you can be all right okay so you need to put in a window so you can make sure that the camera is on me so you can see my beautiful face even though it's not really beautiful I know it's quite ugly okay so floor plan right in there boom window boom there we go Put these all the way around. Like this. Now, what you can do here is something really, really cool that I found out quite a while ago. Uh, you can put in... Where are we? Put in some lanterns. Uh, crap, I need... Uh, low grade fuel. Get quite a few of this. There you go, I probably just over killed a lot of grey fuel there, but it means I won't have to use, like, get some again for a while. Get as many of these as possible. Okay, there we go. And then obviously before I do that, what I need to do is I need to put on some... Oh, sorry, I had an error message on there for some reason. Uh, floor plan here, floor plan here. Okay, so now it should be just a simple case of, of jumping through this little slot here. And I'll do this on both sides. Oh god. No, no. There we go. Now I'll do the same on this side here. So you, you've got like a skylight, that's the way I'm going for it. And I'll show you why I put the lanterns in 
Okay, jump through windows, guys, especially when it's not cooperating with you. Isn't the easiest thing in the world. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay. So, what I wanted to do here is to build like a skylight system. So you can put a lantern there on that side. And you can put a lantern here as well on this side. Only need two lanterns, guys. You don't have to put like a shitload of lanterns down. But that also means at night now. Well, that will also mean at night, should I say. Um, you'll be able to get like light coming through and it'll shine all the way down into your base. It won't illuminate you too much where you can be seen from a distance. But it'll also help you to see in the dark from when you're under fire. It's night time and you need that low light just enough so you can see where you, where you need to be. Uh, rather than them, like, just uh, rather than being illuminated like, like a bloody Christmas tree. Where they're in the dark, they can see you, but you won't be able to see them. The only thing you can see is the the, the fire, like the tracer rounds uh, from from the weapon. But like this, is this is absolutely fine. Now what you want to do is you want to put in uh, some railing plans around to stop people from jumping through. And also it also gives out when it's daytime anyway. Some natural light, uh, natural light will be obviously will be allowed in, so it will still like brighten up everything that's down there. So yeah, you know that's that's, a, that's like a really cool trick you can put in your towers. So then you don't have to like put a million walls like down beneath you, which will clog your your, which will it will just clog you up really, and it won't let you like be as flexible. Like if you need to move to places really really quick because you got walls in the way, so you got trying like like a maze trying to like get through them all. This way it just keeps everything nice and easy. It keeps things kind of like uh, like like clean. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay. Now you see I've left myself a bit of a tits up, but not to worry. Jump up there. And, you know, that's how it kind of looks. You know, it's it's a nice and easy wall, really. There we go. And then all I need to do is basically go in here and uh, use my code that I've completely forgotten. Like, actually, really forgotten. I think it's 6996. There we go. I need to stop using all these cores, guys. I'm, I'm having to think now about what cord I've just used. But, you know, it's nice and easy, and I'll also show you up through the middle there. See, look at that, it illuminates you up to a certain point, and then that, that will be it then. And then you can use that to, to see coming up the stairs and stuff. See what I mean? It illuminates you just a little bit, just a little bit, but it doesn't show you off like a Christmas tree. It's kind of like a low level light solution and it's it's really simple it is really simple anyway guys this is where i'm gonna leave you thank you very much for watching as always uh there is links down in the description uh there's my facebook page so if you want to come and follow me on there uh become a fan or just become my uh my zeus maximus friend obviously it's all going to my zeus maximus channel related thing that i have there it's not my actual facebook page you know that that's completely separate you ain't added me on that However, you can add me on my Zeus Maximus YouTube channel page thing. Uh, there's two links. One's for just normal friend requests, which I'll add. Uh, absolutely fine. I don't, have, I don't have a problem with that. And the other one is to become my fan. Or uh, just to follow me, should I say. So, you want to come and do that. I also post on there um, daily as well. Um, I post on the behind the scenes stuff. Also, if I'm going to be playing on a game... Uh, like, for example, if I know I'm going to be doing a recorded on Rust or whatever, uh, if you guys want to come and join me, I don't mind. I'll post what server I'm going into, so you guys can come and join me if, you wanna, if you're playing on Rust. Because uh, I know a lot of you guys, that's what server I play on, that kind of thing. So I decided to do that instead. So make sure you follow me on Facebook, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, you can join me in games and stuff, and you can get to know instantly what server I play on. Oh, just what, what games I'm playing on, because I play a lot of different games. Anyway, I'm waffling on again. Um, also, down in the description, I do have a Facebook, I mean, not a Facebook, a YouTube donation page. Um, if you want to leave a small contribution to help uh, the, the channel out, so then I can upgrade my equipment, um, so maybe I can get like a new mouse rather than this five pound piece of um, loveliness, um, then you can go and do that. Just leave any contribution that you want. All contributions are very thankfully and very heavily welcomed. Uh, heavily welcome, I don't know what that means, but you know what I mean. Uh, thank you very much in advance if you do donate, and thank you very much as well for checking out this YouTube channel. My name 
this YouTube channel, this video, and you can go and check out my YouTube channel. Anyway, my name is the Zeus Maximus, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now. Finger power.